Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last few videos, I've been talking about taking the XTI out to 100 yards. Now it turns out that yesterday was the day to do it. We was up the farm first thing. I wanted to do a bit of mowing, clear the fence lines out and extend the range back. Now we hadn't planned on shooting, but we came home for some lunch and the wind had died off to almost nothing. So we went back up there. Basically, we weren't prepared in the slightest. Samantha and I went up there, just grabbed a tin of pellets off the shelf, the old JSB heavies that we've been using in the last couple of videos. I think I could have done better than what I did manage to actually hit on the day, but I tell you what, I was really impressed. The XTI just goes exactly where I point it. Had it now a few months, I'm getting on really, really well. Overall, it was great fun to get out. I got super excited. I got completely bent out of shape after the first group. Just completely lost all control entirely. Got so excited. I mean, I play with rifles every day, but this sort of stuff, it really does still excite me, even after all these years. Claiming nice stuff, pushing the ranges out, it's a real test of me and the equipment, judging the wind and everything else. So I'm really happy, it turned out really well. I'll stick the footage up now and I'll see you at the end. Get another sight and shot in. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the target straight out, I think. So, we've had like what have we done? One, two, three shots at 66 yards just to get a gauge of it. We've just adjusted the zero, and we've just done four shots at 100 yards, and well, they're all on exactly the same elevation line, a little bit of windage. We've got so from a 66 yard zero. We've got an additional, what's that? One, two, three, four, five mil dots of drop after. So about eight and a half mil dots from a 25 yard zero. <laughs> We're gonna get our target straight out. Right then guys, we weren't supposed to be shooting this afternoon. I've quickly mowed. I didn't get a lot of that on film. I think Sam got a little slow-mo of me mowing. I'm actually zeroed now at 66, so I'm out to 100. I've just done four shots at 100 yards. That is probably about two inches of drift and they're pretty much on the same elevation line. So, hadn't planned on it, but I've got the 40 miller here. So you can see that he's freshly painted. The little reset paddle is freshly painted as well. So I'm going to get the GoPro on now. We're going to get a few shots off while there's a bit of a break in the wind. It's the first time the wind's died off for a little while. But like I say, we've got three of those here. This one was the wind had picked up a smidgen. The wind is actually picking up more. So I want to try and have a quick go. Right then, so the 40 mil is out. We're at 100 yards measured. You can see I've cut through the little walkway. We was the other side of that second fence line. The last few shoots at 66 yards. The wind's unusually died off quite a lot. I've got a dozen of the JSB heavies here. Here are the old ones that we've been using the last few weeks. And the Crowzilla is out. Let's have a little go, shall we? See if we can even hit it. He's pretty low to the ground. We might need to raise him up. Five mil dots of hold over. To me i've just 10 o'clocked it <laughs> that's a less than a centimeter away and these are unweighed pellets we didn't have time to do any pellet prep today i've split it i don't think it's going to knock it over it's in the bottom i've actually hit it sam i got it <laughs> i've actually got it on my second shot it's split right in the bottom it's about seven o'clock Right, let's see if we can do a few more then for consistency. Oh my god, my hands are shaking like a leaf. Oh, nine o'clock. Let's give it a bit more wind. Oh, I don't even know where that one went. Have we just stuck that straight on top of another splat? The GoPro would tell us, but I can't actually see where that one went. I don't think we've got enough retained energy to actually drop this target at this range. <laughs> Centered it. Yeah, middled it. Um, so that's two out of four. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we come back up here now. Um, right, we better go and have a quick look at that. 
That is ridiculous, I'm gonna go around this wire here. And that's with unweighed ammo as well, that's straight from the ones I grabbed from the shed earlier on. Right, so how many shots did we take? Oh look, we stacked them two on top of each other, you know, I couldn't see the other one, look. Oh, you're kidding, look, absolutely middle it. So I've got two in, that one, the first one was a splitter, look, that took it clean down, them two are absolutely stacked. Sorry, I'm not focusing very well because I'm a little bit, um, so one, two, three, two on top of each other, three, four, five shots. We're gonna have another go at this because I said I wanted to do it consistently and I've got the conditions. So I'm gonna get out and have another little go. Hopefully the GoPro's got all of that. Right, round two, five pellet splats, one, two, three, two in the kill there. So I'm not gonna bother repainting it. We'll see how we can get on. Right guys, I'm absolutely buzzing off my tits here. Try and get the old heart rate back down a little bit. I didn't anticipate that we'd be able to do it. To be honest, I didn't anticipate we'd be able to do it at all, given that I've been rushing around all day. Just got that old batch of JSB heavies from 2016 that we used a video or so ago. Using 20 magnification, I've still got an additional five mil dots of hold over, so that would give us about eight and a half mil dots. So that's pretty much two and a half foot of drop from a 25 yard zero, to put that into perspective. I'll show you on the card later on roughly where if you had a 25 yard zero on that white backboard I'd show you roughly where I'd be aiming that's pretty mental all right let's see if we can do it again I said I wanted to do it consistently oh I've literally just 12 o'clock it <laughs> a couple of mil more and that would have split and gone down follow through technique is not great <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Oh, it's hard to judge the wind at this range. I've got no flags out or anything. And at this end of the field, I'm actually a bit more sheltered. The wind's sort of coming over the top of us. I'm not quite giving it enough. <laughs> Typical, too much. Right, compose yourself, Tom. give you an idea of the wind drift at this sort of range JSB heavy 710 feet per second so 11.7 11.8 if I misjudge that wind by one mile an hour that's going to give me probably an inch and a half of additional drift or less drift than what I expected and that's exactly what you're seeing and that's just one mile an hour different and now it's starting to rain <laughs> I'm just chasing these gusts back and forwards. The humidity is absolutely up there today. It's red hot, but it's really grey and damp. Wow, that one pulled way over. Well, we got off to a good start. I've gone off the boil a little bit, overthinking things as per usual. I'm really surprised that we've got that. So we got a splitter early on. I mean, that was a, well, we actually hit the target. We hit the paddle, it didn't drop, but the second time we did. So that's three out of, I think we've done 13 shots. Well, one in five, one in four. That's pretty good. It's starting to rain now. My hands are going. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna show you roughly where you'd expect to be aiming if you're using a 25 yard zero, because. In essence, I've got two and a half foot of drop nearly from the apparent peak of the trajectory. Oh, wow. Bog standard XTI. Falcon Endura on there. Wow, JSB exact straight from the tin. I am surprised. Well, guys, we got it again. It took me a little while to get my composure back together again. Four in there now. That's incredible. Hang on, four? So one of them other ones must have been a hit then where it didn't drop it, that one must have got a splitter then, the first one that I thought it did, because there's actually, a, you can see a skid mark there on the splat in there, hopefully. Let's see if I can just drop that down. Yeah, that one there, so that was a splitter, didn't drop it, but, wow. 
What's really surprising is that they're all broadly on the same elevation line, so getting that wind is the most important thing really with this sort of range. As I say, if you misjudge the wind by one mile an hour from what you're anticipating it at, you'll get an inch and a half of drift. Just like that, it's ridiculous really. These pellets are way past their, well, they're way past their efficiency zone. Past 60 yards, they become a little unstable, but get everything right, bit of low wind. I mean, it's tipping it down now, but I'm well happy. That give you a better idea. Right, so if you were using a 25 yard zero, that's pretty much what you'd be aiming off plus your windage. So yeah, no mean feat at all. I'm really stoked. Hopefully if this rain passes again, we'll have another go. I do hope that we haven't got to try and do an inch now at 100 yards. That would be incredible. Happy with that though. Right then guys, that's where the target was. You can see that field line there. We were shooting from the other side of the further fence line as you're looking at it now. That was our 66 yards, a little wave out from where we are now and we are back here that's what i was mowing this morning to that target there from the target board is actually 92 meters so that's just over 100 yards to my beanbag i'm stoked i didn't anticipate we'd be able to do it straight away especially with unprepped ammo i must stress though guys that this really is not even remotely to be considered for pest control. Target shooting, knock yourselves out, make sure you've got a safe backstop. That's why I'm shooting across like this because behind that target down there is a bit of a scrap heap. There's a muck heap and there's all sorts of stuff should any of the pellets go where you don't want them. They're all gonna stay in the boundaries. But that's why I've picked this particular line here and especially on open ground as well. When you're shooting along hedge lines, you can get these really weird swells and currents in the wind that make it very hard to judge what you're doing. So. Right, let's get everything knocked up and we'll um, I'll see you back at home. We only came back up the farm to get some more blackberries. Didn't anticipate that we'd end up doing what we just have, so we do actually still need to get some for our rum. Nice, right, let's get them done. Right then guys, it's the next day. That storm rolled over, rained all evening, wind got right up terrible, so that ruined it really for the day. In the end, I was really quite happy with what we shot, considering it was a last minute thing. We had no real preparation time, no prepped ammo or anything like that. Those first five shots, the two that were in the actual paddle itself and the ones around the outside here, including these stacked ones, that equated to a 40 millimetre group. So that's just over an inch and a half, 100 yards with the sub 12 XTI. I'm really happy with that. Yet, I still think I could have done better. I'm always <laughs> always pushing for more, never quite happy, always striving for a bit more. I completely lost my composure after that first group, absolutely lost the plot. I was all over the place, had to really rein myself back in, get the heart rate back down. Samantha was taking the mick as well, we had a good laugh up here. So overall it was a really fun afternoon shooting, but more importantly now, I think we need to call out a few other YouTubers, don't we really? What do you reckon? Matt at Airability can almost certainly, if anyone's going to be able to do an inch at 100 yards, it's Matt. He's probably one of the best shots in Europe at the moment. And I'll tell you what, I'd also like to see Chillingworth. Oh, Gary Chillingworth, I reckon if anyone's going to be able to hit 40 mil at 100 yards of a springer, it's you, mate. So that do it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.